education is in pakistan especially girls education is a very hot topic for international community as well as nationally uh, there are lots of uh, uh, reports that talking about uh, uh, the culture issues party excess ignorance and many other today the education watch pakistan is taking you in a very far flung area of chatral which gives you a very true picture of the community uh, especially the rural areas that the female education especially female children are facing and especially their parents are facing to take their children to the school today here we are in a village called uh, rumbur and then especially in the um, uh, movie that that you are watching this village is called kalash gram and then this village is having more than more than 100 houses and then in their village there is no any uh, middle school though they have a, a very small and broken primary school therefore after primary female children they have to go to uh, other school crossing a very dangerous river you will see later and then from this more than 100 houses only seven or eight children you can watch in the movie that they will go to the middle school and then rest of the children they dropped out coming to primary after their primary education and then these are the few lucky uh, girls that they 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 are going to the middle school and then and the rest of the girls they could not make and even this is a very big question that after middle how many of them will make to the uh, secondary level and then and then how many of them will reach to to the university level and then you can you would also would like to a bit describe and then also you can watch that that the, the difficult path that they have to cross when we were in the village and then this stair were under construction and and then we filmed this mo uh, movie in may 20th 2011 before this sta stairs were constructed and uh, you can see that what kind of a difficult path they had they uh, used to uh, cross and then one more very interesting thing you can see that children children's hand uh, they have wood and then they have to bring wood to the school where they have to burn now you can imagine that it's to it's uh, may 20th and then in the city area even in central Chil chatral one has to have air condition or without air condition or without fan one can mean surviving is very difficult but in this area they have to bring wood at school and they will burn otherwise it's very cold and also you can see that the wearing uh, still they have jackets and then female children are wearing their dopatas uh, here now they have to cross this bridge after crossing this this bridge they have to go to the middle school and you can also see that there are uh, two community person male person are with you and this is their duty to come to to come to uh, to come with them and then to help them crossing the bridge and then they have to be there otherwise anything can happen and this is morning time here 
in morning time the level of this water is very low because the glacier doesn't melt that much therefore they have very low level of water when they come back at 3 o'clock or 4 or 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock then the snow melts and the glacier melt and then the water level is very high and this community people they have to bear be, be there and they have to help the children to cross this and then then these are very determined community and they really try uh, to make their children to the school you can see that what kind of difficulties a Pakistani rural school can have and then even when this is the mountainous areas when you go to other areas then they have their own uh, issues and here we are at their schools and we'll have a look inside that what kind of problem they have inside even government middle school Rumbo Chetra there they have a co-education and then majority of the students are non-muslims and they belong to Kailash community a very mysterious and historical community that they have been uh, rulers of the area but now their number is very reducing and there are many other issues that that's really creating problem for them now this is middle school but with a very only three rooms in the middle school they have m they have more than seven classroom and then only three room building school it is and then this is also very interesting thing you uh, you note here that that now they have started with their schooling with the recitation of holy quran this is again very interesting that though majority of the students are coming from Kailash community those are non-muslims still they have to uh, listen and recite and the holy quran otherwise according to pakistani constitution and that the, the right they should have something from their own religion and this three room building is very cold because it has been constructed under a very big walnut tree and then interestingly this tree does not belong to the school this was sold many years ago and then the owner is not letting the school administration to cut that tree and then even in the winter time these children have to have to sit under this uh, shadow area shadow area of, under the shadow of this uh, big walnut tree They had first recitation of Holy Quran, then they had national anthem. Then after that, this is a Urdu prayer, and then there they pray for themselves to be a very good people and to be like a lamp that they burn but will provide light to others. Even here you can see that uh, you will not see any female teacher here for them. And uh, they start there even when they go to their classroom they have to start with uh, this reciting the Holy Quran.